Hi everyone, this is Jin Zin Viernes, the first year law student at UP College of Law and today we will be talking about the UP Law Aptitude Exam. So UP LAE, tama ba? Yes. So admission to the UP College of Law in general. But um, I'd like to preempt this by telling you that uh, please take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm a student. Lang din ako. I'm only talking from my own experience or from my experience that I've known. But don't think that if you apply it, you apply it, or if you follow the tips that will be shared in this video, I guarantee you that you'll pass. Definitely not. I do not know any better. I just want to share my experience because I received a couple of messages on my Instagram, on my Facebook, and even sa comments ng previous vlogs ko saying that it would be helpful if may video on the lae. Share ko lang experience ko, hoping na makatulong to sa inyo to set your expectations to prepare for the lae. And then let's start. Pause ko pa ba or tuloy-tuloy na lang tayo? Sige, tuloy-tuloy na lang tayo para di ko nagagalawin yung camera. Okay, so, actually, lahat ng kakailangan ninyong malaman uh, to take the lae ay nasa law, UP College of Law website na. So, make sure na nabasa nyo na yung frequently asked questions and yung answers dun. Nabasa nyo lahat ng kailangan nyo malaman para sa whole duration ng application. Kasi as you would know, uh, maraming steps yun eh. I'm not sure if magiging identical yung nangyari sa amin sa gagawin nyo this year. Pero sa amin, uh, medyo maraming screening processes na, na naganap. Maraming stages. Unlike dun sa physical UP LAE na you apply and then you take the exam and then you'll know kung pasado ka or hindi. And then baka may interviewer wala. Hala? Sorry, medyo maingay. Pero, ulo, oh, ingay. Anyway, um, for the online lae, eh, medyo mas maraming step. So, di ba, you apply online and then meron kang mga sasagot ang questions. I suggest na dito pa lang, seryosohin nyo na. Don't think na wala siyang bearing. Kasi you never know. And also, if you want to pass into UP Law, di ba, kailangan from the get-go binigyan nyo ng best effort. So, yung answers nyo here, make sure na you're able to present yourself well and also genuine kayo sa mga sagot nyo kasi pagdating sa interview, malalaman din nila eh kung nilagyan nyo ng BS yung answers nyo. Doon kayo magkakatalo. Pero mamaya na interview. So, yun. After nyo ibigay yung best effort nyo doon sa essays, make sure na double check, review, and revise kung may mga grammatical errors, kung paano pag -pag yung pagkakakonstruct nyo ng sentences. Kasi as much as possible, very simple lang, easy to read, easy to understand. And ma-highlight nyo sana doon yung um, leadership experiences, yung strengths nyo as a person, yung attitude nyo when it comes to studying, learning, ganyan. So, lahat yun, ilagay nyo dun sa essays. After nun, um, naka-receive kami ng notification regarding the pre lae course. So, dun naman sa pre lae course, Dito talaga ako nagkaroon ng idea what's it like to study law. Sobrang uh, short lang ng pre e course, pero makikita mo na yun kung anong gagawin nyo entering into law school kasi bibigyan kayo ng cases, ganyan, makikinig kayo ng lectures, mga introductory classes, and then after nun, merong exams, parang quizzes, but still, may bearing yun. I'm not sure kung gaano kalaki, admissions lang nakakaalam nun, pero do your best dito sa part na to. Um, dito matitest yung reading comprehension, listening skills, and also 
um, writing, writing skills. Kasi I remember parang may essay din nun. Yun. So, I'll take this time also to tell you na how you prepare for the pre course and the exam itself would really depend on your own assessment of ano ba yung baseline nyo. Kung baga ako, I know for a fact na hindi ako mahilig magbasa. Therefore, it follows na mabagal ako magbasa. And also, hindi masyado um, wide yung vocabulary ko. Wide? Wide ba yung term C? Baka nga ibang term yung ginagamit ko. So, doon ako nag-focus. Um, nagbasa-basa na ako weeks, months leading into the lae para lang ma-refresh ako and also masanay ako dun sa pagbabasa. Tapos, nag-take ako ng time every day. Um, meron akong 10 words na kailangan matutunan. Ma- matutunan and maalala, ma-retain yung definitions ng words na yun. Kasi pagdating sa mga cases, dun sa lectures, ganyan, and sa mismo exam, may mga words na mamimension dun na kung hindi mo maintindihan, hindi mo masasagutan yung, ano, yung, yung questions that would follow. So, yun. Important that you know yourself. Ano yung weaknesses nyo? Ano yung strengths nyo? So, ako nga, as I said, weakness ko, hindi ako nagbabasa. Hindi masyado malawak yung vocabulary ko. And also, hindi ako nag-take ng philosophy classes in undergrad. So, hindi rin ako masyado magaling or marunong pagdating sa questions regarding logic, mga ganon. So, yun din yung finokos ko nung nag-review ako. So, ganun din yung gagawin nyo. I think, ha, yun yung gawin nyo para yung time nyo, mababudget nyo siya in a way na mabibigyan nyo ng more time yung areas na hindi pa kayo masyado magaling, hindi nyo pa masyado gamay, and then yung mga confident kayo, uh, kumbaga, papasadahan nyo na lang, i-refresh nyo na lang. So, yun. Dun sa pre la course dun ko na laman, na-discover, na, hmm, kailangan kong ayusin yung pagbabasa ko. Ang bagal ko magbasa. And also, hmm, may daming foreign words. Kailangan kong matuto pa ng more words. So, yun, na hopefully hindi na mangyayari sa inyo kasi now alam nyo na. So, paghandaan nyo na beforehand. After nung pre la course, may screening ulit, and then na-notify na kayo regarding the lae mismo. So, um, it will be conducted via an online application. Naka-explain naman na to sa website. Pero, I remember no, no naglalae ako, sobrang kabado ko. Kasi nakalagay doon na parang, any, kung paano ba, suspicious behavior report and pwedeng masabing misconduct yun during the exam and then disqualified ka na. So, I remember parang kapag kunyari, di ba ba nag-iisip pa titingin ka sa taas? Ganyan. Every time na mangyayari yun, kakausapin ko yung camera ko. Hindi ko sure kung nire-record ba yung sounds during the exam. Pero, ewan ko, sabi ko na, oh my god, sorry po, tumingin po ako sa taas. Pero actually, nag-iisip lang po ako. Wala po akong tinitignan. Ganyan, ganyan. So, yan. Ewan ko. Pagdating ng mismong La Ede, sana yung desk nyo free from anything, free from distractions para hindi kayo titingin kahit saan. Kasi nga, ma- mafa-flag yun ng application na yun. Baka masabi na cheating or whatsoever, suspicious behavior. So, better to be careful. And also, ginawa ko um, the day before the La Ede, hindi na ako nag-aral kasi I think wala nang magagawa yun eh. Kung alam nyo, alam nyo. Kung naaral nyo, naaral nyo. Kung hindi, hindi talaga. So, dapat the night before and moments before the exam, nag-relax na lang kayo. Um, uh, composing yourself. Saying a little prayer if you pray. Then, ganun na lang. Kalma na lang kasi dapat at that uh, point in time, ang iniisip nyo ay, naaral ko na to. Napaghandaan ko na to. And I just have to let the answers flow. Ganun lang. Wala tumulon ata. Wala na ata ang flow yung sinasabi ko. So, yun, di ba? Yung 
application where you have to answer a few questions, diba? describe yourself, your leadership experiences, your educational background, and then my screening process, and then my pre li course, wherein your reading comprehension, listening skills, writing skills will be tested, and then it will give you a glimpse of law school, and then my screening process, and then my MISMO exam. And then after the exam, my screening process, and then my interview. Yung interview siguro pag-usapan natin yun next time na kapag pumasa na tayo dun sa mismong lae. So ito na, how do you prepare for the lae? Hindi ko masasabi yun kasi again, magkakaiba tayo ng backgrounds. Magkakaiba tayo ng strengths and weaknesses. Pero I can tell you what I did and see if it, it will also apply to you, if it can also apply to you. Okay, so how did I prepare? For the LAE, I, I remember I studied exactly a month before the exam because I have a calendar. I'll, sige, I'll screenshot it and then I'll show it to you in this video. So one month, I have it on a Google Excel sheet. Because per day, I assign ako ng two subject areas na pagkaaralan ko. Yung subject areas na yun and how many days were allotted for it depended on weakness ko ba yun or strength ko ba yun. Inun ako yung weaknesses ko. So, reading comprehension, logic, math. So, essentially, lahat weaknesses ko. So, yun. Nag-allot ako ng ganong kaseng days. And then, every weekend, lahat ng weekends nung isang buwan na yun, I would be taking diagnostic exams. So, itong mga exams na to, you can find online, you can get from your upperclassmen, mga dating nag-take ng LAE, o kaya from your orgs, yung mga organizations na nagpapareview, ganyan. So, take nyo yung mga diagnostic tests to see from the get-go, dun sa first week ko, dun ko nakita akong ano ba talaga yung weaknesses ko. So, na-confirm lang naman yung mga hunch ko. And then, every succeeding week, dun ko nakikita na, okay, kailangan ka pang mag-focus dito and dito, ganyan, ganyan. But honestly, if kunyari, nandun na kayo sa month of study nyo, or nagsistart na kayo mag-aral, and then you see na parang hindi nag improve yung scores, don't worry, ganun din yung akin. I think every week, parang pumababa pa nga yung scores ko eh. So, parang I remember two weeks before I took the LAE, na disheartened pa ako kasi hindi ko nakikita yung progress and development na kailangan kong makita to think na kakayanin ko yung LAE. So don't worry, it's normal. Pero what what matters is that huwag ka panghihinaan ng loob and huwag ka titigil mag-aral. Tuloy-tuloy ka lang hanggang sa time na mag-take ka na ng LAE. Ibuhos mo lang lahat. Yun. Um, and also, syempre, since on go, for example, if you're going to take the LAE while you're in undergrad, di ba, nasa last semester ka pa, so, habang nag-aaral ka, meron ka rin courses na tinilig, may classes ka. So, you just have to balance your time well. Make sure na gawin mong non-negotiable na everyday mag-aaral ka. And also, I'd also advise, I think it helped for me, yung everyday, meron kang inaaral na words. For me, ginawa ko 10 words nung start. Pero, nung nakita ko na hala, ang dami pa palang pwedeng words na alalin. Parang ginawa kong 15 to 20. Pero, I don't know if na-retain ko siya long enough until matay ko yung lae. I think na-retain naman. Pero, dahil siguro sa bilis ng pacing, after nung lae, medyo nakalimutan ko na rin. Pero, that's for future chins and to worry about, di ba? Lae lang muna yung pinaprepare natin. So, I think okay pa rin yan. Advisable pa rin yan. And then, I'd also advise na magbasa-basa. Lalo na kung hindi kayo mahilig magbasa like me. Kasi, from what I remember, mahaba. Pwedeng mahaba yung texts. Pwedeng may click. Pero, um, in any case, makikita mong may edge yung mga taong madalas magbasa. Kasi, mabilis na nga. So, mas maraming time para pag-isipan yung answers sa questions. Tapos, mas madali pa nilang nag-gets. Kasi may mga times na 
babasahin ko, mabilis nga. Pero hindi ko naman naiintindihan. So, babasahin ko ulit. So, kumakain pa rin yun ng oras. So, train yourself para the first time you read it, mabilis na nga. And then, gets nyo na. Sobrang gili nyo if ganun yung case. So, ako nun, na-recognize ko na hindi ako ganun. So, dun ako nag-focus nga. Pag alam nyo na yung strengths and weaknesses nyo, nag-allot kayo ng uh, enough days to study each, make sure na yung stick to your schedule. And keep in mind na lang, if whenever na napanghinaan kayo ng loob, na kanyari, one or two months lang yun, one or two months na kailangan nyo ng discipline and kailangan nyo magpursige kahit pinanghinaan kayo ng loob kasi after nun, exam naman na hindi naman mapoprolong yung ganong klaseng agony. But, do know na, do know, do take note na ganun din kasi sa law school. So, kumaga, yung one or two months na yon na dedicated ka, determined ka, nagsistick ka dun sa um, calendar nyo, ganun din sa law school. So, kumaga, yung pinagdadaanan nyo study and preparations for the law eh. Hindi lang yun para makapasa. It's also training you for uh, law school. For the everyday grind. Kasi meron din eh. Wala namang magbabago. So na namang point ko. <laughs> Lumipad yung uta ko. Sorry. Nag-zone out ako. Um, so, find a way to enjoy the process kasi that's what you'll be doing for the next four, five, or how many years in law school. Talk to your family and friends. Let them know na you're embarking on this journey. You're looking into taking the laes. So, you need time and space for yourself, for you to study, for you to take care of yourself however you need it while you're studying. Ganon, kasi it's important that they know Nung time na yun, medyo hindi ako nakikipagkita with friends. Less time na nag-hangout online with friends, ganyan. Tapos, less time na lumalabas ng room to bond with my family, ganyan. Kasi nga, meron kang goal in mind eh. Ito yung process na kailangan mong pagdaanan para mag-succeed dun. So, it's important to people around you understand that and they don't take it personally when you don't have time or energy for them. And, ano pa ba? Hmm. Ooh, current events. Um, take the time to read the news. Oh, okay, yeah. Read the news! Oh, well, yeah. Pwede naman read the news online. <laughs> Watch the news on TV. <laughs> Ganyan. Ay, marami naman sa social media, di ba? Just make sure na yung mga binabasa nyo ay from credible sources. It always helps kapag updated kayo. And I think responsibility naman natin to always be updated. So, okay din yun, di ba? Mag-tweet ka mo ng lie or hindi. Ano ba ba? Mm, talk to people who went through the same um, mga students na, law students na, kaya nag-take din nung online lae. Yan, it's always good to get their perspective also. So, it's nice that you're watching this video as you basically and you're doing your research. You're setting your expectations. Or talk to other people then Watch other vlogs then Kasi, the experience ko might be, might be different from their experience. So, yun. It's good to get the big picture. Ano pa ba? helpful ba yung sinabi ko? Basta, everything you need to know, like yung technicalities, anong units yung kailangan yung you take to be able to take the lae, ganyan, the requirements you have to submit, lahat yan nasa UP website. Um, Nandyan din yung subjects na included sa lae, and then yung mga screening processes, i-explain din yun sa inyo one by one. But in terms of preparing and studying for it, I find that super important your emotional and mental preparation. Because your motivation will always be there. Lalo na kapag nahihita mo na, ah, oh, nagsastruggle yung mga law students. Bakit ko pa kung gusto yun mag-lie? Bakit ko pa kung gusto yun makapasa? Eh, ayaw akong mag-help ng ganyan. So, may mga days na ganun. 
And on those days, it will be easy to just say it out. So, yun yun. Hindi ko nalang masyado eh. So, that's when discipline kicks in. Pag wala kang motivation, yung discipline mo yung maasahan mo. That's why I say that it's important to set up a calendar. Um, duly uh, considering yung strengths and weaknesses mo when it comes to the subjects na kailangan itakal mo. And stick to that calendar. Have discipline in following that calendar. Para mawala man yung motivation mo, madishearten ka man pagdating dun sa pag-take ng diagnostic exams, at least the next day, you'll still show up kasi may discipline na ka. And that discipline, hindi lang makatulong sa lahi. Makatulong din yun once you get into law school and whatever law school. Kasi marami namang law schools din, hindi lang naman yun. Pero I get, I get na for many people, Lost the, the dream or the goal. So, yun. Discipline. Makakatulong sa kahit sa ang field. Di lang sa law. Di lang sa lahi. Kahit anong exam. Kahit anong study pa yan. Makakatulong yun. So, yun. And also, emotional preparation. Kasi, you won't always feel like a winner. You won't feel smart. You won't feel adequate at all times. Actually, for most of the time, you'll feel inadequate. You'll feel like you can't do it. Hindi mo kaya pumasa. Or hindi mo magets tong topic na to. So, hindi mo magets yung iba. Or it's impossible na you'll perform well. Pero, walang hindi nagadaan sa preparation. Give it enough time. Give yourself enough space and opportunity and put a little discipline into it and for sure you'll see progress. Pwedeng mas mabagal than others, pwedeng mas mabilis than others, but as long as you stick with it, stick with the process, you'll see it. And then makikita nyo na lang, magigising na lang kayo, magigising, magigising na lang kayo one day, you realize na, oh, na pala ako? Oh, dito na pala yung results. I made it. Or, oh my god, first time ko na sa UP Law or kahit sa ang law school. And then, yun. Yun lang. Um, if you have any more questions regarding expectations, ganyan, feelings, or you want to vent about your life experience, you can always message me, Facebook, Instagram. I'll try to reply as fast as I can. And also so comment section here's a video but aside from that again everything you need to know as a UP website and take everything I said with a grain of salt because I'm no expert um, magkakaiba tayo ng pamamaraan iba-iba tayo ng strengths and weaknesses ako nag-start ako hindi ako nagbabasa at all pero kayo baka nagbabasa na kayo magaling na kayo sa reading comprehension so dapat mag-iiba yung yung study hub nyo or yung study schedule nyo. So, yun, take it to the grain of salt. But I also hope na nakatulong to para dun sa mga kinakabahan or nagsasat na na expectations hoping to gain a little bit more perspective dun sa pagdadaanan nyo um, on your road to the LAE or to the UP College of Law. Yun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope hindi naging boring. Um, once again, I am Chinzen Viernes, I'm a first year student at UP College of Law. If you're new to my channel, you can subscribe and like this video also if you want, if you enjoy the content. But if not, that's okay also. Thank you very much for watching still. Bye bye!